the rights ball ball match between Parkersburg South Patriots and Ritchie County Rebels. And good evening. Welcome to Tate delayed coverage of uh, high school sports on CES Channel 45. This is the first time we've ventured into the Rod Oldham Athletic Center for the season. And we're going to be bringing you tonight's volleyball game between the uh, Parkersburg South Lady Patriots and the Lady Rebels from Ritchie County High School. Good day to you. I am Mike Cameron, and we're going to bring you some exciting volleyball action. I'm going to tell you this folks, right now, folks. I don't really know volleyball that well. I'm, I'm getting better at it. So we're going to get through this tonight. We're just going to bring you mostly action, and I'm just going to shut up for most of the evening, which is probably more exciting for you guys anyway. So we go ahead and give you the starting lineups on the court right now. For South, we've got Amber Shreve. She's a uh, senior. Also, Jamie Whitman, also a senior. Uh, we've got number 11, Lindsay Eckert. She is also, no, she is a junior, excuse me. Uh, number 14, Laurel Sloan. She is a junior. Asia Greenleaf, who's a sophomore, wearing number 20. And rounding out the lineup would be number six, Jesse Wells, also a senior. And we're ready for the first serve. And Amber Shreves sends the ball, and it was deflected by number seven for Ritchie County, Whitney Boston, and out of bounds. So that's going to be a point for Parkersburg South. And Shreves gets ready for another serve. Ball over by number 10, Brittany Spencer. Set up for Asia Greenleaf, who pushes it over. Brittany Spencer again, but into the net, so it'll be another point for Patriots. We are in rally scoring here. Those of you that are not familiar with, with volleyball, there's a point on every possession now. Every time the ball is played, there's going to be a point. Another serve by Shreves. And that time it was blocked by Greenleaf. And a quick 3-0 start here in game one. They play best of five. Another serve this time in the net, but it's still good. Kept alive and over by the Lady Rebels. Set up by Shreves. Going to Wells. On the line and in. So now the score, 4 to nothing in this first game of this matchup. Amber Shreve still serving now. And she sends it over. This one's deep, but it's still played. Azell with the set to Chansey, who puts it over. Set by Shreve, now to Wells. And it's deflected out of bounds, and it will be. It's still in the possession of, this, of uh, Parkersburg South. Another point. Five nothing. Shreves again with the serve. And that set a little bit too deep and into the net and really couldn't be done uh, with uh, Stacey Smith made an attempt at it. But So 6 to nothing is the score early in this first matchup, in this first game of this matchup. Shreves again with the serve. Line drive serve this time. Set up by Chansey. Over by Smith. Shreves with the set. Greenleaf with the attempt. And a little deep this time. So a point for... Ritchie County, and they also now have the serve. Jennifer Chansey will be doing the first serve for the Lady Rebels. First serve, line drive. Shreves with the set. And this time it goes to, that was Laurel Sloan with the kill. So the serve goes back to South. Score now seven to one, South in the lead. And now serving will be Jesse Wells, one of the senior captains. Chansey with the set, Azell with the, with the put over. Shreve sets it up for Whitman. Nice shot, but blocked and kept alive. We're gonna call a, uh, a carry on the Rebs there. The ball goes back to the Patriots for the serve, plus the score now eight to one. Wells with the serve, and once again, it's a carry, so It'll be another serve for Wells and Patriots. Quick substitution now in. The libero is in for um, Ritchie County, and that would be Tabitha Izell. I've not really said a lot of the Ritchie County names yet. We'll do that as we go along. Let me give you the lineup for Ritchie County right now on the court. Jennifer Cancy wears number two. Tabitha Izell, the libero, is wearing number four. Carissa Izell, number six. And now they're going to make another quick substitution. Whitney Boston back on. She wears number seven. 
Number eight is Cassie Bunner. And number 10 is Brittany Spencer. Now we're gonna have another quick substitution. Now on the court, Leandra Villers is on the court now. Ritchie County in possession of the ball with it to serve. It is three, it's nine to three with South in the lead in this first game. And the, be another, be another carry this time on the Patriots. Libero now is in for the Patriots. That would be Leanne Schuler. Basically, Libero is a free substitution. You have to keep track of all the substitutions being made. There's only a certain amount that you can make. The Libero is a free substitution though. It's not counting. That's why she wears the different colored jersey. Score now is 10 to four. Asia Greenleaf is gonna be doing the serving now for the Lady Patriots. In the net. More quick substitutions. In now for the Patriots will be Daniel Floyd. She'll be coming in for Asia Greenleaf. <clears throat> Stacy Smith back on for the Rebels. Tabitha Izell with the serve. Shreves with the set. And Eckert was able to get the ball over and it was deflected by a Rebel and out of bounds. So South with the serve now. Laurel Sloan will be doing the serving. Score 11 to five now. Fast paced action here. Sloan with the serve. Nice serve. Misplayed by Villers and uh, it'll be another point for South. And the next serve, over. Set by Chansey and spiked by Smith. It goes, no, he's gonna say it's in. Line judge says it's in, so it'll be a point. And now serve for Ritchie County. Ritchie County comes in with a record of 15-4-1 and one, and uh, generally one of the top teams in the Little Canal Conference. Graduation took care of a couple of their big hitters last year though, so uh, a relatively young team. Still very good record though. And South comes in with a record of 19 and three. They have uh, their head coach is Martha Newberry. And a strong front line of players. Score now 12 to seven and the serve belongs to Ritchie County. <laughs> good spike there by number two, Amber Shreves and number two on the opposite side, Jennifer Chancey actually caught the ball. <laughs> so the serve now to South. Jamie Whitman will be doing the serving. Azell with the set and actually goes over, so it's knocked back over by Shreves. Smith punches the ball over. Eckert with the uh, spike attempt. Chansey now sets it for Ritchie County, over by Smith. Azell puts it over for uh, Rebels. Wells with the spike attempt. It's deflected and out of bounds. So the point will go to Parkersburg South. And also now they return, they uh, have the serve now. Well, they still have the serve because they volleyed so long on that one, I kind of forgot who had it. Whitman again with the serve. Running serve and Azell with the set to her sister Azell who puts it over. Shreves with a pretty strong hit over the net. It bounces around in the rafters here at the Rod Oldham Center and uh, lands sa safely on the Ritchie County side, so it'll be another point. 15 to seven now the score. Scoring system goes to 25. Winner by two, and then uh, if it goes to a game five, then it will be 15, winner by two. In the net by Smith for Ritchie County, so it'll be another serve, another point for so uh, Whitman has rattled off four points now for the Lady Patriots. And she retains the serve. Another running serve. Nice dig out there by, uh, by Brittany Spencer, but it was a little far out of bounds. So they're gonna take a quick timeout. Timeouts are very quick here in volleyball, so we'll just go ahead and keep it here. We do wanna let you know that uh, the next time we bring you a sporting event will be next week. And I do believe it will be a soccer matchup uh, no football tomorrow. Uh, South has a bye week, and uh, PHS, I believe, is out of town. So we will not have any football action for you tomorrow night. So the next time we bring you a sporting event will be next Thursday, and then following that, remember the big, big, big game. South PHS football, I'm bringing you that on October the 5th. 
South's ready to go. And Richie kind of going over some last minute instruction here. They have a minute timeout that's kept very rigidly on the clock. So we're 17 to 7 in this first match, the first game in this matchup. And Parkersburg South still has a serve. Jamie Whitman will be serving again. On the court for Ritchie County, Izell, Chansey, Smith, Izell, Spencer. And number 11, Leandra Villers. That's going to be inbounds in play for Ritchie County, so they get the point, and now they have the serve. And coming in to, doing, to do the serving in this, uh, for, uh, for Ritchie County will be Whitney Boston. She is a sophomore at Ritchie County. 17-8 is the score. Served by Boston. And Whitman saves it. Wells with the spike attempt. Deep, and it'll be a tough play. They're going to call a carry anyway, so. Greenleaf back on the court now for South. And stepping off will be Danielle Floyd. Now with the serve is Lindsey Eckerd. Serve to Spencer, set by Azell. And Smith with the spike attempt. That's going to be in. That landed right on the corner. Good shot there by Jennifer Chancy. So it'll be a point. And now the serve for Ritchie County. Now. On for Ritchie County, Laura Carpenter. She'll be doing the serving. Laurel Sloan with the set. And Amber Shree with a nice kill right there. Making the score 19 to 9. South leading this first game. Shreve's with the serve, set by Azell, and they're going to call a carry. Makes it 20 to 9. And Shreves will be serving again. A little bit of a miss hit by Boston there, and wasn't nobody was able to uh, to get that. Another quick substitution now. Libero back on for Ritchie County. That would be number four, Tabitha Izell. Shreves with the serve. Chance yes, Chancey with the uh, dig attempt. They're going to call that one out of uh, play before the uh, third shot was able to go over the net. So 22 to 9 is the score. Shreves again with serve. Nice serve there, kind of in the middle of the court. And a block there by Greenleaf. Shreves again with the serve. Carpenter makes the save. Set to Izell to her sister Izell, who puts it over. Shreves with the set. Kept in play, though. Greenleaf with the hit over. Izell to Carpenter. And that will be four hits. So the final. Possibly the final point of this game. Shreves puts it over. And they're going to call over the net by Greenleaf. So the point and the serve now to Ritchie County. 24 to 10 is the score. Winner has to get 25 by 2. So Ritchie County is going to have to rattle off some points here. Chansey with the serve. That's going to be deep. So the first game of this matchup goes to Parkersburg South. We're going to switch sides and do it all over again. We're going to go ahead and take a break right now as well. If you're watching CAS Channel 45's coverage of high school sports, we'll be back with game two right after this. And welcome back to the Rod Oldham Athletic Center. We've just witnessed one game of this matchup between Parkersburg South and Ritchie County. And Parkersburg South with a commanding 25-10 win in the first game. So they switch sides, and we'll start all over again.
Back on the court for South in this second game will be Eckert, Wells, Whitman, Shreves, Greenleaf, and Laurel Sloan. So the three senior captains will be on the court once again. And on the court for Ritchie County will be Spencer, Carissa Izell, Whitney Boston, Cassie Bunner, Stacy Smith. And I believe that will be Jennifer Chancey getting ready to serve the ball for Ritchie County. Quick substitution already, so Libero on. Another free substitution for Ritchie County. And that is number four, Tabitha Izell. So Chancey's ready. And they are ready to start this game, too. Chancey with the serve. Shreves with the set. Over to uh, Laurel Sloan. And she's able to make the kill. So first point goes to the Patriots. And now they retain, they get the serve now for the first time in the second game. Doing the serving will be senior captain Jesse Wells. And here's the first serve. Deflected off of Smith and over by Azell. So Wells was able to make the dig. Set over to Shreves and... I think they called in the net on Ritchie County. So point. Point to uh, South and back on the court now will be 17. No, wait a second. That was seven. Whitney Boston. No, 17. Laura Carpenter and she is in for Stacy Smith. Wells getting ready to serve once again. Carpenter with the dig and quick block again by Greenleaf. Zell set for Shreves to Greenleaf. And that's going to be deep, no deflection, so it'll be a point for Ritchie County. A slew of substitutions here. Libero back on for Parkersburg South. That's Leanne Schuler. Served now by Phillips. Set to Shreves. Over by Whitman. Blocked. Saved by Schuler. Not sure what the call was there, but it's going to be a point for Ritchie County. Spencer with the serve. Dug out by Schuler. Nice set to uh, Stone, uh, Sloan. It's going to be a block, though, and another point now for Ritchie County. So it's a 3 2 lead for Ritchie County in this game, too. And Spencer with the serve again. Dug out by Schuler. Set to Shreves. Whitman. Nice play there by Chansey. She uh, was getting ready to do a set, and she actually pushed over where nobody was for South. So it'll be another point for Ritchie County. Now the score four to two, and Spencer still with the serve. Shreves with the set. Sloan, nice. It'll be a point for South, and now they retain serve. And Asia Greenleaf, sophomore will be doing the serving for the Lady Patriots. With the serve. And miss hit there by number eight, Cassie Bunner. So another point. Now it ties it back up. Four at four apiece. Greenleaf with the serve again. It's got to go over by Carpenter. She's able to do that. Sloan with the dig. Whitman with a nice shot right there. Excellent. And that's going to give the Patriots now the lead in game two, five to four. Greenleaf still serving. And in the net, point Rebels, and also they retain serve. A couple of substitutions. Back on the court for the Lady Patriots will be Danielle Floyd. She comes in for Greenleaf. Libero back on for Ritchie County. 
Uh, and Tabitha Izzell will be doing the serving. Score at all at five all. Serve to Schuler, to Shreves, to Eckert, over. Nice dig attempt by Floyd, but uh, nobody in the area. So another point to Ritchie County. Schuler to Shreves, and Eckert puts it over. Shreves again with the set. Sloan gets it over for the Lady Patriots. Smith back over for Ritchie County. Shreves with another set. Eckert, block. Eckert again. Zell with the dig. Over by Smith. Oh. That'll be a big hit there by Jamie Whitman and a block, and it'll be a point for the Lady Patriots. Lorel Sloan now with the serve. This one's got to go over by Smith, and she does that. Schuler to Sloan to Amber Shreves. Gets it over. Chancey tried to push it back over for Ritchie County. Sloan, Eckert to Shreves, and she was able to get it. It was actually hit by a Ritchie County player, but if she wouldn't have touched it, it would have been in anyway. So, so the score now, Lady Patriots 7, Ritchie County 6 in this game 2. Sloan with the serve again. Smith with the attempt there, but she wasn't able to get a good angle on it, so it goes harmlessly out of bounds. Another point for the Lady Patriots. Sloan with another serve. Izzell with the, to Chansey. Back over to the other Izzell. Set by Sloan. Big hit by Shreves in the net, though, so it'll be a point for the Lady Rebels, and they also retain serve now, or they get the serve back. Eight to seven is the score. Izzell with the serve in the net. Back on the court for the Lady Patriots will be number six, Jesse Wells. Off is the libero, Leanne Schuler. Whitman with the serve. Smith. Smith kind of put it in uh, no ladies' land. And, uh, nice attempt there by Floyd, but be another point for the Rebs. The score is 98 south in the lead. Reeves was able to get it over from the set from Sloan. Nice block. Nice block from Shreves, but it still lands on their side of the net, so that ties it up at nine. Whitman went to dig out to Sloan and puts it over. Chansey to Smith. Nice save by Whitman to Floyd. It's got to go over. Shreves. Set by Sloan to Wells, a little deep. And that's going to make the score 10 to 9 now. Ritchie County in, in the lead. Big serve, and that's way out. Greenleaf back on the court now for the Lady Patriots, on for Danielle Floyd. Lindsey Eckert now will be doing the serving. She is a junior for South. Smith with the hit, and over. Another point for South. Scores 11 to 10. Uh, south in the lead, excuse me. Eckerd with another serve. It's going to be a big block there. Set perfectly for Asia Greenleaf, and she sets it down. Another point for South. 12 to 10 now the score. Eckerd with another serve. Deep and out. So another point now for the Rebels. Some substitutions being made here. 
Laura Carpenter back on the court for the Rebs, and she comes in for Stacy Smith, and Carpenter will be doing the serving now. South 12, Ritchie County 11 in this second matchup, the second game of this matchup. Eckert with the initial hit to Sloan to Shreves. Nice spike there for Shreves, so it'll be 13 now to 11. Now Shreves will be doing the serving. Chansey to Izell. Set by Shreves to Greenleaf. Another point for South now, 14 to 11. Shreves with another serve. Izell to Chansey. Lil, nice play there by Chancey. She looked like she was going to go up strong, and then she kind of just dinks it over. So another point now for the Rebels. 14 to 12 is the score, and Chancey will do me, will be doing the serving now for Ritchie County. Whitman to Shreves to Greenleaf, and Eckert to Shreves to Wells. Sloan with the save to Wells. Punched over by Greenleaf. Blocked by Greenleaf. Mazzell with the set. And another block by Greenleaf. So point and now serve for the Lady Patriots. Wells with the serve. To Chansey to Zell, Wells, Shreves with the set, and big hit by Whitman, but a little bit late or a little, uh, a little far. So it'll be another point for the Rebels. 15 to 13 now the score. Libero back on for the Lady Patriots. Leanne Schuler. She makes the hit to Shreves to Sloan, deflected and out of bounds. It will. It will be a point for the Lady Patriots. 16 to 13 now the score. Libero back on for Ritchie County. Greenleaf with the serve for the Lady Patriots. In the net and not over. 16 to 14 now the score. Coming back on the court for the Lady Patriots will be Danielle Floyd in for Greenleaf. Izell now serving for Ritchie County. There's the serve. Schuler to Sloan to Whitman. Big hit. Blocked. Smith keeps it alive. Chancey puts it over. And again, placing that shot very well. Gets the point, and uh, Ritchie County retains serve. 16 to 15 now the score. Azell with the serve, dug out by Schuler. Shreves with the set to Eckert. Big hit, blocked. Whitman back to Schuler. This one squirts through. Smith puts it over. Set by Sloan. Eckert and deflected and out of bounds. So another point for the Lady Patriots. They get the serve back. Sloan now with the serve. And in the net. Another point for the, uh, for the Lady Rebels, and they also get the serve back. Carissa Izell now serving. She's a senior for Ritchie County. She puts the serve over. Dug out by Schuler. Over by Floyd. Nice placement. Chansey gets it back over for the Lady Rebels, though. Sloan to Eckert. And deflection there, and it's going to turn out to be a carry on Whitman. It's all tied up at 17 now. Oh, 
changing out volleyballs now. One's getting a little sweaty, I guess. That's a good idea. Azell with the serve again. Rotation violation of some sort. Once again, I am a volleyball idiot, folks. So, but uh, they're going to give the point to the Rebels. Whitman blocked. Nice block there by number nine, Stacy Smith. So another point for the Rebels. And Coach Newberry is going to take a quick timeout. Again, we'll keep it right here because the timeouts kind of happen quick. Score now in this game two of this matchup, 19 to 17, Ritchie County in the lead. As I said, the record for the Lady Patriots, 19 and three, ranked very highly in class AAA. At one time this season, they held the number one ranking. So, very strong squad should do very well in the postseason this year. Last minute instructions. Now Izell will be doing the serving once again for the Lady Rebels. Up 19 to 17 in this second matchup. And the serve. Nice serve, Schuler with a nice dig too. Blocked by Whitman. She keeps it alive. Sloan to Shreves. There's a block by Shreves. Sloan to Eckert to Shreves. In. That'll be a point. And they cut the lead now from to 19 to 18. Wells back on the court in for the libero. Schuler. And Whitman will be doing the serving. Chancy with the dig. And that was a literal punch. She literally punched the ball over, and it just took a weird little hop, and nobody was in position to get that. So now the score, Ritchie County 20, Parkersburg South 18. Serving will be Whitney Boston. Sloan with the set to Wells. Nice block, and Wells is able to get it back over. Smith with the hit. Shreve was with the initial block. And trying to hit it again. So now South in an interesting position. 21 to 18 now in the second game. They are up one. The Ritchie County now feeling a little momentum now. Nice crowd here at the refurbished Rod Oldham Athletic Center. New floor. Got the, uh, the uh, blue S on the court for South. Looks very nice. Lots of construction around here, though, right <laughs> now, folks. South has used both timeouts in the second game. So Boston with the serve. And way deep, point south, and now the serve. Greenleaf back on the floor. Greenleaf in for Floyd. And Eckert with the serve. Dug out by Smith, set to Azell. And Chansey just tried to punch it over again. Kept alive by Chansey. Smith, nope, in the net. Another point south, 21 to 20 is the score. Another serve for Eckert. Azell puts it over. Greenleaf to Sloan, back to Greenleaf. Big hit, but a little deep. So another point, Ritchie County. More subs for Ritchie County. 22 to 20 is the score with Ritchie County in the lead. And 
Carpenter with the serve in the net. So now the score, Ritchie County 22, Parkersburg South 21. Fast pace action here with this rally scoring. Shreves with the serve. A little deep with the set there, and Chansey wasn't able to make a play on it. It will be another point for South, tying it up at 22, and this time Ritchie County with the timeout. Last minute instructions now for Ritchie County and also Parkersburg South. They take the courts. Greenleaf, Shreves, Eckert, Whitman, Wells, and Sloan on the court for the Lady Patriots. Shreves with the serve now. Trying to take the lead in this game number two. Chansey to Izell. Blocked by Greenleaf and Sloan. Blocked again by Greenleaf. Kept alive. They're going to call a double hit, though, on Greenleaf. After the, after the um, initial block, then she hit the ball two consecutive times. So Chansey now with the serve, and Ritchie County with the lead. Whitman with a, Whitman with a kind of a line drive dig there. Made it tough for the set. Now the score, 24 to 22. This is for the game. Chansey with the serve. Whitman. Shreves to Greenleaf, and that's in for the points. So and now it's 23 to 24. Ritchie County in the lead still, but now South with the serve, and Jesse Wells will be during the serving. There's the serve. Chansey to Izell, dug out by Whitman. There's a dig for Shreves, back to Whitman block. Greenleaf saves it. Shreves punches it over. Eckert to Shreves. Over to Sloan. And that might have went out, but they went ahead and hit it anyway. So now it ties it up at 24. So now Wells with the serve. Carpenter with the dig. She puts it over. And a big hit by Greenleaf there. And that's going to put them in the lead now, 25 to 24. They've got to win by two, remember. And final timeout taken for this game by Ritchie County. So now South with a rally. And now with the lead, if they can get one more point, they will have game two as well. So Wells trying to get this second game for South. All timeouts taken for this game. Wells with the serve. Chansey back over to Azell. Eckert to Shreves to Whitman. Big hit, deflected, and point South. So South takes game two as well. All right, so South in this matchup, up two. We'll play one more, and we'll play at least another game. So we'll be back. You're watching CAS Channel 45. We are getting ready to play game three of this matchup. South already up two in the best of five. So if South can win this one, it will be over. And starting off game three for South will be Shreves, Eckert, Whitman, Wells, Greenleaf, and Sloan. And doing the serving will be Amber Shreve. She is a senior captain. And she serves for the first time in game three. And an ace for her. Nice serve right in the middle. And uh, nobody able to get a definitive 
shot on there, so Shreves will serves again. Same location, but this time Chansey's there to make the uh, initial hit. Sloan with the set over to Wells. To Smith, to Chansey who pushes it over. Going to call a carry that time, though, so it'll be another point for Parkersburg South. Shreve serves again to Smith, to Izell, over to Chansey, blocked, but landing on the south side of the line there. It'll be a point for Ritchie County, and now they have the serve. Jennifer Chansey serves for the first time in this game. To Whitman, to Shreves, to Sloan. Nice hit, nice save by Ritchie County. Pushed over. Wells this time with the hit. They're going to call a deflection and a point for South. I didn't know if Ritchie County got a hit on that ball or not, but our two officials say that they did, so it'll be a point for South, and now they have the serve. Three to one the score, and Jesse Wells, senior captain, serving the ball. Chansey with the set, over to Azell. Big hit, partially blocked. Over to Whitman now. Nice block on Richie County. Another carry. This time called on Brittany Spencer. So another point now, four to one. Wells with another serve. Azell to Chansey, to the other Azell. Shreves with the set to Greenleaf. That's, that's, that's a tough assignment right there. That's, that's a tough assignment to try and block one of those green leaf shots. Five to one now the score. And well set to serve again. Chansey with the set over to Tabitha Izell, and it just lands harmlessly in the middle of the court. So it'll be a point and the serve now for Ritchie County. Now Leanne Schuler back on for the Lady Patriots, Libero. Number 11 on the court now, Leander Villers for Ritchie County. Serving will be Brittany Spencer. Shoulder with the dig, set for Shreves. Put over by Sloan. Eckert to Shreves, to Whitman. Block. Zell. Nice play by the Patriots, keeping it going. Chancey with the set for Ritchie County. And that's going to be deep. Another point south, 6-2 to two the score. And Asia Greenleaf, sophomore, will be doing the serving now. Chansey with the set. Izell pushes it over. They're going to call a carry or a miss hit there by Schuler. Floyd on the court now for Greenleaf. The score is now 6-3, to three, south in the lead in this game number three. Tabitha Izell will be doing the serving for Ritchie County. Shreves with the set. And two people in the area for south, and uh, Whitman was the closest one to it. Not able to get a good hit on it. Goes right into the net, so 6-4 to four the score. Tabitha Izell again with the serve. Eckert. So I believe that was Whitman and hit it deep. It's another point, Ritchie County, six to five. And Azell waiting to serve once again. Here it comes. Schuler to Shreves to Eckert in the net. Another point tied up at six. Schuler to Shreves over to Sloan. Nice hit. Good save by Chansey. Azell puts it over for Ritchie County. It's going to be a little deep, and line judge says it's deep enough. So 7-6 to six to score. Laurel Sloan now doing the serving. She is a junior. Serve. Dug out by Phillips. Spencer, excuse me, I'm sorry. Shreves puts it over to Smith. Chansey with the set for Ritchie County. Back to Smith. Good block by Eckert. Eckert 
So streams good block by number 11 and number 6 for Ritchie County. Chansey to Izell. Floyd and Schuler attempting the uh, dig out there. And there's a mass of bodies on the floor of the Rod Oldham Center. It'll be a point for Ritchie County, tied up at seven now. And now doing the serving will be Carissa Izell, senior for Ritchie County. Serve. Schuler with the dig. Sloan to Shreves. And nice hit. Point. Parkersburg South, the score eight to seven. Wells back on the court. And now Jamie Whitman, the other senior captain with the serve. Chansey, a little bit of a miss hit there. Nice save by Azell, but not enough for it to get over. Another point South, seven, nine to seven is the score. And Whitman serves again. Call a carry on Chansey, so another point, 10-7. Whitman serves again. In the net. Point, Ritchie County. Coming on the court is Jessica Hall for Ritchie County. She'll be doing the serving. Dug out by Floyd. Eckert again, and Floyd is able to get it over. Nice volley. Azell with the set over to Chansey. Whitman to Sloan to Eckert. Chansey sets for Smith. Strong hit, and the block actually goes back over. Azell's got to get it over. Sloan with the set over to Wells. Big hit, blocked by Chansey, but Deflected into the ground, so another point for South. 11 to 8 the score. And Asia Greenleaf coming back on the floor for Floyd. And doing the serving now will be Lindsey Eckerd. Nizel to Smith. Shreves to Sloan. Back over to Shreves. And. Out of bounds off of Azell, so another point south, 12 to 8 the score. Eckerd with another serve. Smith out of bounds. 13 8. Timeout called by Ritchie County. No football tomorrow night because PHS out of town and. South has a bye, so so no football once again. Next time we bring you a sporting event will be next Thursday. I believe it's soccer, and it will be live. I believe it's South soccer, so it will be live from the Rod Oldham, excuse me, live from the Erickson All Sports Facility. Take this time to uh, thank our camera guys for the evening, Jacob Beha. And Matt Lutz doing the camera for us this evening, both students in the Wood County Technical Center program broadcasting. And of course, we've got Keith Leonard. Keith and Heather in the trailer taking care of all the backstage stuff. So making, I just love the graphics, love the enhanced views that we've been giving you this season. And uh, lots more good, you know, Got lots, we've got the PHS South football game coming up, plus basketball season coming up. Excited to be bringing you high school sports right here on CAS Channel 45. We're ready to resume. And Lindsey Eckert still with the serve for South. Smith with the initial hit and out of bounds. 14-8. And Eckert still serving. Dug out by Smith over to Spencer. Sloan with the set over to Wells, blocked by Chansey. Azell with the set over to her sister, Azell. Yeah. 
think it's a carry on Sloan. More Ritchie County substitutions. Laura Carpenter in now to do the serving for the Lady Rebels. Eckert to Sloan over to Greenleaf. And that's going to be deep, no deflection. So point now for Ritchie County to score 14 to 10 in this game number three. Carpenter with the serve. Eckert to Sloan to Shreves. Nice. So point for Shreves there. Score now 15 to 10. Actually, that would be a kill for Shreves. Shreves now with the serve. Azell pushes it over. And I think they're going to call a carry on Wells. 15-11 the score. And Chansey serves. And beautiful serve. There's an ace for Chansey. Makes the score 15-12. Serve that goes out of bounds. Since they went to the rally scoring in volleyball, they have so many different little stats when it comes to volleyball that I couldn't even begin to tell you how they score it. Good serve there by Wells and in the net for Ritchie County. Score 17 to 12. Wells with the serve again. Dug out by Carpenter. Set for Chansey over to Azell. That's going to be on the line, so a point for Ritchie County. More substitutions. Libero back on for uh, South and Leanne Schuler. The score is 13 to 17. Set for Shreves to Whitman. Strong hit deflected by 11. Leander Villers, but goes out of bounds. So another point for South Asia Greenleaf now going to be doing the serving with a score 18 to 13. Greenleaf with the serve. Chancey set. Nice, nice hit by Leandra Villers there. So another point, Ritchie County, 18 to 14 is the score. Smith back on the floor. Libero back on the floor for Ritchie County as well in uh, Tabitha Izell. Here's the serve. Laurel Sloan miss hits off of her hands and then off of her arm as well. So, so point Ritchie County, 18 to 15 is the score. Izell with her next serve, dug out by Floyd to Shreves. And I believe that was Whitman with the hit. Over by Villers. Sloan with the set, hit by Eckert. After the block, dug out by Azell. Floyd to Shreves, to Eckert, and deflected into the ground by number 10, Brittany Spencer. So another point south, 19 to 15 is the score. Sloan with a nice serve, just just a little bit over the net. Smith punches it over. They're going to call four hits on Ritchie County. Score 20 to 15, South in the lead. Sloan again with the serve over. Spencer to Azell. Schuler to Sloan to Shreves. After the block, Shreves hits it over again. Chansey with the set to Azell. Kind of dinks it over, and it's going to go for a point for Ritchie County. 20 to 16 is the score. And Carissa Izell will be doing the serving for Ritchie County. It's over. Dug out by Floyd. Sloan with the set. Over to Whitman. And they're going to call him a carrier miss hit on Izell. So a point for Parkersburg South, the score 21 to 16 on the floor now. Jesse Wells, Libero out, Leanne Schuler. Whitman with the serve. Chansey to Izell. 
to Smith, blocked by Shreves. And point, Parkersburg South. 22-16 is the score. Parkersburg South on the verge of sweeping out Ritchie County. Here's the next serve from Whitman. Izell with the set over to Chansey, blocked by Shreves and Eckert. And point, Parkersburg South. Two points away from game, set, match. That's a tennis term, but I think it works here too. Whitman with a deep serve, so point, Ritchie County, 23 to 17 is the score. Jessica Hall back on the court for Ritchie County. She'll be doing the serving. Whitman to Sloan to Wells. Dug out by Azell. The other Azell with the set. Spencer over. Eckert with the set for South. Wells blocked there. And in the net is South, I believe. So another point. Ritchie County, 23-18, south in the lead. Dug out by Floyd, nice. Sloan with the set, over to Eckert. Chansey with the set for Ritchie County. Over by Azell. Sloan to Shreves. Chansey pushes it over, they're gonna call a carry. And game point. Serving for the match right here is Lindsey Eckert. 24 to 18 is the score. And it's going to be an ace for Eckert. And that's all she wrote, folks. So Parkersburg South improves their record now to 20 and 3. The Lady Rebels played well tonight. Their, their record will now drop to 15, 5 and 1. So we thank you for joining us this evening for Great high school sport actions. And as I said, next time we join you will be next Thursday when we bring you some more high school soccer for Keith Leonard and the rest of the folks working tonight. I am Mike Cameron. Have yourselves a great evening. We'll see you again on CS Channel 45.